Footballers are like actors. They perform on the theatrical stage, striving to delight their audience. The drama, the anticipation, the emotion, the passion, and the teamwork. It's a spellbinding combination. It was 140 years ago that our cricketing forefathers met under a gas lamp and chose football to fill the dark winter months and for many, their dark, heavy lives. Football was escapism. Aston Villa formed the first ever football league in 1888 and that makes me proud. So much has changed. So much genius has graced our theatre over the years. But I never stop loving every reminder of every jinking run, every fierce tackle, the smell of freshly cut grass, and the roar from the whole end. They say you don't choose Aston Villa, it chooses you. Being part of the Claret and Blue family is being part of my family. As a teenager, I was transfixed by the 1957 Cup Final on television. Thousands lined the streets of Birmingham to welcome home their heroes. We had conquered England. The 80s were intoxicating. Our seventh league championship. The 1982 triumph over Bayern Munich. And we conquered Europe. I remember a rain-soaked night at Villa Park as they paraded the League Cup they had won at Wembley in March 1994. And in 1996, the thrill of being there at Wembley with my family for the 3-0 victory over Leeds in the final. But from great heights, there has been the pain of defeat. Losing to Chelsea at the old Wembley Stadium in the 2000 FA Cup final to Manchester United at the new Wembley in the 2010 League Cup final. But the lows just make the highs higher. We are at the heart of English football. We have a majestic name, a decorated past. We serve as a shining light among our peers.